What's up guys? In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can freely and easily download and play with mods in your Eternals world. So the first thing you're going to want to do is open your web browser of choice, and then we're just going to search Eternals and click on the first link here. Then just sign up or log into an existing account if you already have one. I already have a server here, but I'm going to create a new one for the purposes of this video. You can title it whatever and change the description if you'd like. And here is where you can switch between Java or Bedrock Edition. For this tutorial, I'm going to be using Java. So here is our server page. And make sure that you leave the server off while we make these changes. First, let's go over to this software tab over here. And then we're going to want to download Forge. And this software will allow us to run mods in our server. So let's click here. And then download Forge for the version that you will be playing your mod in. Make sure that whatever mod you're playing supports the version that you're downloading. Then just click install. Once you see the check mark, you're good to go. And as you can see now, there is an option for mods. So let's click on here. Here you can download any mod and you can search for it up here. I'm gonna be downloading this mod called Nature's Compass. Once you find the mod that you wanna download, as you can see, I'm doing 1.20.4 because it's the same version as the Forge that I downloaded. Come over here and click the install button. Now on top of downloading all this stuff onto your server, you're also gonna need to download this physically onto your computer. So you can see it'll give you a link to the actual mod on CurseForge. So click on this. And once you're in CurseForge, we're gonna also have to download this mod to our computer. So go over to the Files tab, and then click on the same exact mod that you downloaded for the Eterno server. So for me, that's this top one. And you can check and make sure it's the same game version and for Forge, the mod loader that we downloaded. So just click on this and click Download. The next thing we're gonna have to do is download Forge, which is super simple. To do that, do a search for Forge and click on the top link and then download Forge in whatever version you downloaded it on the Eternos site. So for me, that was 1.20.4. So I clicked on that here and then click on Installer. Make sure you don't click on any ads that come up here. You just wait a little while until you have the option to skip in the top right and you can see it, it'll download. So in my downloads folder, you can see I now have these two files. I have my Forge installer and I have the mod that I'm going to play with. So first we have to make sure that we install Forge. So right click on this, say open with and we're gonna be opening with this Java TM platform binary. If you don't see it here, you can say choose another app, then more apps, and then look for it here. And if you still don't see it, then you're gonna to have to download Java. Once you have that downloaded, right click on this, open with, and the Java platform binary. Here the installer will pop up. We're just gonna install the client so we can click OK, and then launch the Minecraft launcher. So I'm in the launcher, and you can see that it automatically detected my Forge installation. And one more thing we need to do before we launch Minecraft is to come down here and search for Run, and click Enter. When this little window pops up, we're going to type in percent app data percent, and click OK. And this will open these files, and we're going to want to go to dot .minecraft, and then Mods to open our Mods folder. And let's go back to our Downloads window and drag in our Mod to the Mods folder. Now, once you have all of this squared away, also make sure that you start up your server because it takes a little while to get going. While we wait for our server to start up, we can launch Minecraft through the launcher. Once we're here, you can see that there's a mod tab where if you click on this, you can see Forge and the mod that we downloaded. And now that our server is up and running, we can click this connect button. We can copy the dynamic IP, head back over to Minecraft, go over to the multiplayer tab, then click direct connection, copy in this IP and click join server. And once we've loaded into the world, we can check and make sure that the mod is working. So in my case, it would be a compass. You can see I have this nature's compass where if I right click it, I can select any biome and it'll point me in the direction of the biome that I selected. It's important to note that if you're playing in your Eternal server with friends, it's crucial that they have the same version of Forge downloaded and the same exact mod downloaded as you. Otherwise, they won't be able to see or access the mod that you are using. Thanks for watching. Make sure to comment if you have any issues and I'll see you guys in the next video.